to Jefferson County tonight where the city of Edgewater is making big changes to its traffic flow around schools. Yeah, these changes come as the community rallies together to voice its concern. At the heart of the issue, three schools within just a few blocks, two of which sit directly across from each other. Today, our copter flew over Edgewater Elementary, Lumberg Elementary, and Jefferson High School. The area you're looking at gets flooded with 500 students all let out of school at around the same time every day, creating a traffic safety hazard. Karen Morfitt, your reporter in Jefferson County, she spoke with school leaders about their concerns and the plan to fix it. There are three schools within blocks of each other here in Edgewater. That means hundreds of students and their families all in the same area at once. It's a traffic nightmare, a safety concern, and the community says it isn't working. <laughs> Drop off and pickup time at any school can be tough to navigate. It gets pretty packed. Even a little intimidating. I get here about like 245 to at least find a parking spot before it starts getting crazy. In Edgewater, it's more than just a headache. It's a growing safety concern. What's your fear? I think fear is always somebody getting hurt. Lindsay Petty is the principal at Lumberg Elementary School. She says with the high school across the street and after adding hundreds of students during the Jefferson County consolidation, every street around their campus has an issue. There isn't a lot of signage in the right crosswalks. Families don't feel safe to drop off on any location other than our front. Those doors sit on 22nd Street. Now a focus for change after the city of Edgewater received a grant from the Denver Regional Council of Governments to implement a new traffic plan. A potential option to consider a left and a right turn here. DRCOG transportation planner Lauren Kurgis says they're also recommending 22nd be made a one-way street, adding more crosswalks, four-way stops, and a new hug-and-go area to keep parents moving. We're also uh, looking for feedback from neighbors who maybe are having challenges getting into their driveway, for example. Any changes are meant to both improve traffic flow and make drop off and pick up a little less scary for everyone. And that's really been the focus this year is, is safety. The city is looking for public input on their current recommendations. You can leave comments or new ideas on an interactive map online. We have all the information on where to find that at cbscolorado.com. In Edgewater, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Karen was born and raised here in Colorado. She is your reporter and neighbor in Jefferson County. She lives in the community with her husband and two young kids. If you have a story idea or tip, you could send her an email or leave her a message on our tip line.